Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guides. This episode is editing the anagram file in this lesson activity toolkit. I'm your host, Matt Granger. So, in the lesson activity toolkit, that will be from your gallery tab. Mine happens to be here on the right. It has the icon of a little picture in a picture frame. Yours may be over on the left. <clears throat> Depending on which side you have your your sidebar here. You go in, gallery tab, lesson activity toolkit, and then the first first folder there is called the activities folder. When you open that up, the first folder inside that is the anagram folder. When I go here, Lesson Activity Toolkit, Activities, usually by default it's closed, right? The Examples folder also has an Activities folder, and these are, here's the anagram here, these are examples of all of the files that you're going to find here in the Activities folder. They just have content in them. It helps you to kind of see how you would use them. So Lesson Activity Toolkit, Activities, Anagram. And we're going to get six different colors. And for no matter which one we pick, we're going to get the six different colors. Same thing with the six different colors. To get it out onto your page, just like any other gallery item, you drag it or double click on it. And you can see that these are all flash files because they all have the little circle, the red circle with the F on them. So, um, so here's my file. This is my anagram file. Now it's too big, right? Even if I did, I mean, I have other content on the page. Even if I did want it up at the top, then it just barely fits. But let's pretend I have a title here, and I want it. I want to be able to see this whole thing. So, like any other file, when it's selected, you can come down to the bottom right, grab your resize handle and resize it a little bit and then check for sizing. Yeah, that looks better. And the reason I want to see the whole thing here, it will become clear later, is because I want to be able to get to the clue button. I'm going to use these for to do some vocabulary work. And I want the clue so they can look and see the definition. Uh, I can go ahead and lock it now or I can do it later and that will get rid of that blue bar and that won't show up on it anymore. So now I have a blank one I'm gonna go here to the edit button. In the top left edit click on that. First if you want to put a password on here and password protect this file so the students can't open this particular one not a great activity is to have them creating their own but if this is one with you know that you created um, you may want to put the password in there then anytime you click the edit button you'll have to enter the password there's a timer on it uh, you can turn that on or off and select your settings fast medium or slow if you are gonna use the timer so here it is anagram one so these would be the words that you're doing. So I am going to do strategy and I'm going to put in the clue that's going to be my definition. So so I have the clue. I can also add an image to it. Now I've already gone in and downloaded a few images so I'm going to show you how you could do that. If it's something that's in your gallery it's very easy because you can just go in and find I'm just gonna grab something random here but you can just grab a picture drag it and drop it into the box and there it is or if you go to the internet and you find some pictures from Google you can do that so I've already downloaded a couple of pictures for this so I'm just gonna resize my file here a little so I can find and there's my folder 
because I want to have where I can see both. So here's my strategy picture that I've already selected, and I'm going to drag it over, get the tip of the arrow into the box. I've got the plus sign, now I can drop it, and there's my strategy picture. Uh, and I'm going to put in the next one, accept, and I also found a picture for that. Now you don't have to have the picture. You can put pictures in some, but not the others. That's fine. So I'm going to draw. Now it's a huge picture, right? but all I have to do is get the tip of the arrow in the box, and then I can drop it, and it'll resize. And there's the picture. Uh, the anagrams, you can have up to five. So I'm going to say that I'm done here with this. So I don't want the timer. I'm not going to put a password on this now. And I click OK. So now it's ready. So students would come to this page. Right? And here's why I want them to be able to see the clue. Because when they start, they've got all of the letters here. But to make this good for word work activity, for working with vocabulary, right? they should be able to get the clue. So here we have the text clue, we also have the picture. You can just put the text clue, you can just put a picture clue, or you can put both. For ELLs, it's great to have that picture. For this one, up at the board, it's great, they just tap and it's helping with spelling as well right. grab the balls move them in order then I can go to the next word I can get my clue to take or get something oh there is a man he's getting something now I accidentally I capitalized the word when I put it in there, so I have that visual clue, which maybe you want to do that to give them that visual clue, but if it's just a vocabulary word here, generally I'm not going to do that. So I can go back and change that. So to change it, just go into Edit. And change it so now the next time it would ha it would not have the capital from the lesson activity toolkit the gallery tab lesson activity toolkit uh, activities folder and then the anagram folder you're gonna get your six different colors and pick your color drag it or double click to add it to your page click the edit button you're going to enter your content, which would be your word or the anagram, the clue, the images, if you want to. If you want to enter a password, you can do that. You can, whatever you want with the timer settings, work with those. And then you click OK, and it's ready to go. Finally, you know, once you put that out there, and if you have since you can only have five, right, if you have more than, say you had eight words, you could make one with four and then the second page, create a new page, put another one on there, and then put the other four words on the other one, and then they can do both pages. Image sources information. So we have a monthly Spurgvug Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Meeting. SmartboardRevolution.ning.com, right at the very top of the page, has the information about the upcoming meeting. So join us for more learning. This has been Matt Granger for the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Smart Survival Guide Special Edition.